and welcome. My name is Becky and I'm going to be facilitating this evening, keeping you on track and making sure we finish on time. We've scheduled tonight to run to 7.30. This is the first of quite a few workshops, the first of five workshops, I think. Tonight is very much about sort of introducing this concept to you, getting a bit of initial conversation going. Um, but we hope to finish, we, we will definitely finish by 7.30, if not earlier. We might not need all of that time, so let's see how we go. Let me start with some of the housekeeping, just to make sure you're all at home. Um, obviously, we've got the toilet facilities right here. Very easy to get to where we are. If anybody needs an accessible toilet, um, the security guard is around somewhere. somewhere, and he will be able to open the toilets in the arcade. Um, in case of fire, obviously, I'm going to run out that door there, straight onto Gouja Street, um, and you're very welcome to follow me. That's the official fire exit this evening. Please do follow me. Um, I've mentioned to a few of you that we will be videoing tonight. Um, there's a video camera pointing right at me at the moment. That video is capturing basically what people up here are saying, because what we want to be able to do is share it with people that weren't able to come and be sitting here this evening. Uh, the idea isn't to capture you or your comments or your feedback at this point in time. It's really just about the people that are standing here. If anybody is really concerned about that and, and is particularly worried about you know, the back of your head or the side of your face being captured, please do let me know and I'll just give you a little sticky dot to go on your name tag. Just a few pointers about tonight. Um, I want you to be frank and open with your ideas or um, all your concerns if you've got them. If you've got questions particularly, we welcome them. Also, I want you to be open to new ideas and new ways of thinking. You might hear an idea from another person. Um, this might not happen so much tonight, but certainly as we go through the workshops, we'll get into more and more depth about planning for this district. I want you to be involved in a way that suits you. Not everybody suits small group discussions or whole group feedback sessions, not everybody suits emailing ideas, but please be involved in the way that, that suits you most. It's so good to see so many of you here this evening, um, so thank you for taking the time to come. Another quick housekeeping is make sure you've all got a name badge on, just because that's really handy for meeting new people. And if you haven't yet done it, at some point before you go, I'd love you to just pop a little um, sticky note onto the map just over here, just to show where your interest lies within the market district. Um, it just gives us a bit of an idea as to who's come along this evening and, and which areas within the market district are, um, are of interest to the people that are here. And also another point about this market district planning, we're going to hear more about this as we go on, um, but I want you to think about the area as a whole and the district as a whole. This isn't necessarily about your individual businesses or your individual homes, it's about the district as a whole. So I'm really looking to you as the experts that live and breathe and work in this district to provide your ideas throughout this process. Um, and you can provide things about your business if you want to, but it's not about you having to share your personal business visions or anything like that. I want you to feel safe and comfortable. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to hand over to the Lord Mayor, Martin Hayes, who's going to give you a welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Becky. Um, it's lovely to be here. And it's lovely to be here as your Lord Mayor. It's actually quite a thrill. So, um, great to see you all. The, uh, now is Nick Bagarkas here, Gavin? No, no, I'll oh, welcome Gavin. Gavin Webster, CEO of Adelaide Central Market Authority. Uh, Craig Wilkins, CWO, CWO. Craig, nice to see you. Craig Lars, Craig here from the Central Market Arcade. No, I can't see him. Uh, David Bolton, David, Martin, nice to see you. Uh, John Kirkwood, John, Peter Lay from Chinatown. Yes, and of course everybody, um, welcome, welcome. Um, good to see you. The, over the last few months I've kind of had a lot of conversations with a lot of people about the market district and how important it is to the past, the present, and of course the future of, of the city of Adelaide. And, um, I was fortunate enough to just do a, a great deal of listening of my own, uh, to listen to people's opinions in terms of what this great part of the world can become and what are, the, what are those some of the opportunities could look like and what are some of the obstacles along the path. So, um, and this is very much the start, in many ways, for, for a lot of us of more, more readily formalising that process of engagement and just listening to people's voices. Um, you know, past life, a few years ago I was the general manager of Runner Mall and I walked a fairly similar path whereby when looking at the future of Rundle Mall several years ago, five years ago now, was really just an idea. 
the first thing we did, um, the Vulnerable Management Authority, a subsidiary, subsidiary of council, was really just start conversations like these, to start listening to what everyone's got to say, because there's so much diversity of opinion that, and that ultimately does filter through in terms of you know what opportunities look like in the future. So please, this is really, really important, and this is a really important start. So um, when I was chatting with a lot of traders through this district over the last three or four months, I was uh, really openly saying, I, if I'm fortunate enough to be elected, I will be really championing the importance of the market district and really encouraging Adelaide City Council to get to work because this is, that's, uh, I'm very cognizant of the importance of it on a social, cultural, commercial, residential, community level. Um, this part of the world just really touches us in so many different ways, it ticks so many different boxes that it's uh, absolutely critical. So this is, a, this is a great, great start, so thank you. Um, the, I'm a great believer that the, the wisdom truly lies in the community that um, you, we, we all often kind of default to bringing in experts to do this and experts to do that. And to be able to get involved in a, you know, any project, whatever it may be, how small, how big, is to be able to actually start discussing what the opportunities look like at a complete, utter grassroots level is the most important level. Because that wisdom comes from people who know the space. And a lot of you know the space. Um, I know the space from being a shopper. So I'm gonna have a, perspective on what I think about this area, be it Grove, be it Guja, be it, uh, be it Market Arcade, be it Central Market, be it Chinatown, I shop in all these places, so of course I've got my views. But that's not what it's all about. It's all about everybody's views, in terms of what's special to you about these places. Now, Council over the last few months has done the uh, Picture Adelaide, isn't it, Don? Yes, and the Picture Adelaide program has just begun to harvest thoughts, ideas, anecdotes, input, from the community, which I believe Becky is going to be the foundation in terms of informing tonight. So you've got some baseload stuff to work from in terms of, we've already got a little bit of intel from the community, but we've got a long way to go. So this is very much formally the start. And this is all also about recognising a district. If you look at Victoria Square to the east and where the future of that lies, and, and of course in terms of Victoria Square south, we then come back to the Sir Samuel Way building, we look at the Adelaide Central Market Arcade, we look at the Adelaide Central Market, we look at Goodger Street, we, we look at Grove, we look at the uh, Her, Maj Her Majesty's Theatre, we look at Pitt Street, we look at Chinatown, we look at the arcades in between. It's a really important part of Adelaide because we identify with it for so many different reasons. And I am a huge fan of building the City of Adelaide's capacity and credentials in terms of tourism, and this has got a big part to do with that, but I'm also a huge fan of building the City of Adelaide's multicultural credentials, and this too has a great deal to do with that too. So, on so many levels, this is important. This is a journey which I will walk with you as your Lord Mayor. Uh, my, my experience is retail, so that's, I'm hoping, an area of expertise which I can bring to the City of Adelaide. There are always some very good retail people in the City of Adelaide, but I can work with them on that score. So I look forward to working with the likes of David West and the Economic Development Department, Department and many other people in council who have got a good head for retail. Um, but I'll play to my strengths there, but this is not just all about retail, is it? This is about so many other things which are just as important. So with all these great places and all these great spaces uh, in mind, um, I have great pleasure, Becky, of just encouraging you to just Take the shackles off and throw the ideas on the table and have a really healthy debate because this is a very, very important start. So thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Those are good words to start us off on this process. It's um, an exciting process to be part of and I personally am excited to be facilitating throughout these workshops. So I'm looking forward to it as well. Uh, just a bit about this evening and about what to expect from the next hour, or the next 45 minutes to an hour. Um, this evening is really laying the foundation for this process. So it's going to be a bit about us telling you some of the, the, the research that's been done about the area to date and some of the conversations that have already been had. We'll also get you to have a quick meet, meet a few people, just do a quick bit of mingling just to sort of shake it all up after, after we've heard about that. And then I'm going to be asking for some feedback from you, just in some small groups to have a think about anything that surprised you from what you've heard so far or anything that you're looking forward to particularly in this 
process. We'll then also have a think about who else needs to be part of this conversation tonight. So obviously it's great that so many of you have come and a real diverse mix of people with an interest in this area, but there are more people that might want to be involved in this process. And it's not just about how we get them involved, how we, how we invite them to be involved, but how we encourage them to come along and be part of this, because we need people to come and give their ideas. So that's kind of going to be what we're doing. And I'm going to set you a tiny bit of homework as well tonight, ready for next week's session, because we've got another one of these next Wednesday evening, which I hope that you can all come to. Perhaps you can all bring somebody along as well, but I'll tell you what that's going to be later on. In the meantime, I'm going to hand over to Mike, who's the manager of the placemaking team at Adelaide City Council, and he's going to give you a bit of an outline as to what this process is all about, and hopefully answer some of your questions. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, um, Becky. So it is great to be here, and it's good to have the, the words from the Lord here to start us off. And um, I just will start, hopefully, with a bit of context, because I don't want to talk for too long. I want you guys to start thinking and talking, but. Um, for us at the City Council, we've uh, had a placemaking strategy that was adopted um, around a year ago, and, and we started, and you know, it's a little hard to see on the brick, but um, it's, it's really about how do we empower the community to get involved uh, in creating great places with the Council, and I think uh, we've been doing some work on sort of street level, very sort of micro level across different parts of the city, and this market district is our first part, of the first wider area where we're saying how do we get a, a plan for an area, a plan for this district with the community that we want to start uh, with you guys uh, and with you guys writing it with us instead of us coming in and starting to impose something on it. So uh, th this placemaking philosophy is very much about starting here where we are tonight. We've been doing a lot of story collecting and starting to talk one-on-one -on -one with traders and stakeholders and others and we really want that to be the foundation of what we create. And we've heard a lot of interesting stuff uh, about the market district, um, and this is where we really want to get people involved. Um, the, the, the district planning, I suppose, um, really is, is based on working and involving from to, to a set of priorities. So obviously we've heard a lot of stuff. We want to get to a place where people, um, before we take a plan to council, um, that the, the stakeholders here have signed off and are saying, yeah, this is our plan. It's not something that's going to sit on the shelf at the council and be forgotten about. We might do one action or two actions or forget about the whole thing. This is something that other people and you guys are invested in and you guys are, are putting your uh, ideas and actions into it uh, um, yourselves. So it's something that we're doing together. Um, a little bit about the district. It, it's, um, you know, we've heard the market district now thrown around as a, as a term. Um, there, there was the, when the council adopted the placemaking strategy, there's been some hard and fast boundaries around the market district, and they were sort of Franklin Street down to Gooja, uh, Morfitt, and Victoria Square. Um, but I think uh, the guys on the team, as they've been hearing a lot of this, um, I know that when I've been talking to the guys in the southwest, there's so much association with the district, and the lines are quite blurred as to where it is. And I think you're, you're reflective of the people here tonight. There's a real passion and association with what goes on here and people wanting to get involved in the future planning for it. So we see obviously around us, you know, Chinatown, the Market Arcade, Guja Grote, the Central Markets, the Arcades to the west of us, there's sort of the, the core, but it does sort of bleed out. We've talked to some people over on Pitt Street, uh, further out towards Wright Street, who are saying, this is our district too, you can't just put a hard and fast boundary here, you can't, we're not out of it, we want to be part of this process and really attached to it. So, You'll see some maps you know, during the night, and that's sort of this green glow, really, is this is the core of it, but it's, it's wider than that. And I suppose in, in, a, in a wider city context, this is, um, as, as Mark pointed out, as, as an iconic district. I know that uh, talking to people who have come from elsewhere, this is one of the, the main reasons to have a walk around this part of town. It's, that there's the market here, that there's this Chinatown here, there's amazing eating in Guja Street, there's some amazing little antique shops and things on Grote Street, so there's a, there's a whole range of experiences here. Um, and in the wider context of the city, this, this link uh, from the riverbank and the oval down along the sort of the pedestrian ways and narrow streets into this market is sort of that, that key part of the city. Um, and, and, and part of this work for us is also how do we link this up and how do we get better connections to these other places 
um, and we, we're doing some work through the Topham Mall and Pitt and Bentham Street down to uh, Bank Street at the moment. Um, but obviously now, how do we sort of expand that into this market area and really connect it up? We have, we have um, sort of the next stages, we have been asked, you know, what on earth do you intend to do? How, what's the stages? What's the time frames of all of this? Um, obviously we've uh, started you know, collecting stories, anecdotes, really starting to hear people's attachment to the district. Um, and we are really hoping that by June this coming year, we will have a, a plan that the council has signed off with you guys, with the stakeholders here, to say this is our plan for the market district. So we're on a, a journey, these, these workshops, um, you know, we're doing a lot of other story collecting work with stakeholders, so we can go through early next year and start developing options, looking at opportunities and priorities, and then having that into a draft plan that goes through you know, our governance at council, but also here, uh, governments to really get signed off and delivered so we can start working on some of the actions that will come out of it. So it will be pretty swift, but we hope a really deliberate shift in the way we will normally deliver a master plan, which might be um, in council coming up with options. This is very much saying, here we go. You know, you guys help us come up with what can, what can happen here. The, um, this, this workshop, um, as Becky's mentioned, is part of, of a series. So uh, we're starting tonight. David um, will talk a little bit later about all the work that's already happening. Um, but really it's about, for us, getting some intensive discussion. Um, this is one way we're doing that, is bringing some people together and starting to work through the ideas, the aspirations, the visions, and starting to help us prioritise and work through. So we've got uh, two this week and next. Um, and then into the, the new year, uh, three more, and we will be open to us that we might need more, we might need separate workshops, might need different engagements, and, and actually this is a, a start of the process, but a very deliberate process um, where you guys are involved, you guys are helping us form this together. And I should say that in parallel to this, we've got you know, website conversations going on, we've got one-on-one -on -one stakeholder um, conversations that have been happening, small and large group, uh, you know, there's emails, there's newsletters, so there's a range of, of ways, but we're hoping this sort of forum tonight and, and ongoing is where we can really get uh, a lot of people together in a room and start working together on some of this. Um, and I think all of this will be going back to our um, council uh, elected reps, um, we have a, a place-making working group at council, um, we have a, a sort of reference group you know, for this work, we need to inform them and be able to talk to them very clearly about what we're hearing here. Uh, it's very crucial that we get this early and get a good conversation. So, um, I'll hand back to Becky, that's sort of a steal of the background, but I'm happy to take conversation and questions as we go, if you're right here, and um, hopefully really, as Becky said, be honest, frank, we want a, a really interesting, uh, open conversation with you tonight. David and Don, just David, just David from the placemaking team. And David's going to tell you a bit about what has been, what we've heard to date about the market district. Now I really want you to pay attention to what he's saying, because after David has spoken, we're going to have a bit of a discussion about anything that surprised you with what he said, or if there's been anything missing, if he's, if he's completely missed something that, that needs to be said. So we're going to talk in small groups after that, so I'd really like you to pay attention to this bit. Okay, I'm going to hand over to David. Off you go. Well, good evening, everybody. <laughs> um, just like to acknowledge two, two things, which um, is quite a little bit of a miss. Um, I don't know the official words, but obviously there'll be a meeting on Ghana land tonight. We, we sort of had various things been organised, and that was to slip through the gaps, so my apologies on that front. And Councillor Hender, thank you, uh, congratulations on your re election, and um, welcome along. So, um, Look, as Becky said, um, I'm just going to give an overview of we, what, what we, the council, have heard to date in terms of um, out of the market district area. So, uh, Matt, if you could do the next slide. Um, earlier in this year, um, the council had to do a whole lot of strategic planning work and it, it bunched it all together and did a whole lot of community engagement through a thing called Picture Adelaide. Now, through that exercise, about over a thousand people across Adelaide um, told the council what they saw was special about the city, what was their favourite place in the city, and what was special about it. Um, and, and that was a great, great exercise. And um, 
And a part of that was about the market district area. And about the market district area, about 270 people associated a favourite place somewhere in the market district area. And that's a great amount of people. Um, and when we have a look at, uh, look at those 270 people, it's pretty much an even mix of male and female, good age range. There's a little light on with children under the age of 18. Recollection, a little bit light on there. Um, and a good range of people who work, who shop, who live in the city, who kind of play in the city, be it sport or nighttime, that kind of thing, and also who study. So it's a pretty good cross section of people, 270. Um, alongside that, um, because we knew that we were going to be working in the market area, uh, Don and myself, we've been out meeting, having one on one meetings with a lot of um, sort of key organisations in the area. So everybody from Winesby College, um, the group, the to Precinct Groups, Chinatown, Hilton Hotel, um, a whole range of people. There's been over 22 of those one on one meetings. And so what, what we've done is um, and sort of put all that information together and drawn um, from that some, um, some themes. Now, part of the intent of doing this work is so that when we start something like this tonight, we've actually got a whole lot of ideas and information about what people already said about this area. Um, because a lot of people do use this area. It's, it's a bit like where you start with engagement. There's so many people who have an interest in this area. And so, that's a really useful information base. I will say it is one input into the process. It's not going to be determined by what we do. So this is one input, but it is useful. And, and, and so tonight I'm just going to share if you like, some initial observations that, that this item made about what we've heard in the office. So next slide, thanks, Matt. Um, unsurprisingly, when you ask people in LA what's a favourite place, the markets get a really big tick. That really wasn't surprising. That was uh, really affirmed. Uh, the market area is quite iconic in South Australia. I think a word of that nature is really um, uh, appropriate for a word like it. Some of the things that um, that were special about the market area, and it's not just the central markets. They're obviously critical, but it is those things the law they mentioned: the arcade, the plaza, Chinatown, Goodyear Street. It's this bigger area. It's things like the variety of shops and the and affordability of shopping. It's convenient, friendly people, socialisation, the atmosphere of buzz, variety and unique produce on offer, and cultural diversity. All these things, these things contribute to a high level of uh, attachment. Um, Goody Street and Chinatown. Uh, were quite valued for their food and atmosphere in their own individual manner, uh, and they were really important. Uh, Victoria Square, Tantanyanga, was seen as special due to being both peaceful, green, quiet, as well as you know, active. There's things happening there. Um, when we look in the market district area, and a little bit not unexpectedly, but places like Franklin Street and Walford Street, they didn't rate particularly much at all as being special places. And some of the minor streets, between Great Street heading north and, and Goody Street heading south, not a really big place of attachment. Now, it's worth pointing out that this is you know, one input, it's only one stage. The opportunity for people to share their stories and, and tell their stories will be ongoing throughout this process. And the other thing as well, planning the district to think about what can be done in those places. So, um, so it's an ongoing process. Just next slide. The other thing we did, which was a little bit different than the rest of Adelaide, when, as well as asking people in this area, you know, what's your favourite place, what's special about it, we asked, uh, what's your initial idea, do you have any ideas for your favourite place? And any ideas for the wider market area? And, uh, and these are some of the comments that we received. So regarding the markets, it's hard to distinguish whether it's this market or a bit broader. Some of the initial ideas were having longer hours and more trading days, more shops, stores, products, activity, events, live music. There was a sense that the area is a little bit neglected that came through and a general tidy up was desired. More development and infrastructure 
was supported. And that's actually a little bit more than just a lick of paint. So there was a sense of change in that. Support, not unexpectedly, was also expressed for not changing anything. And so, to me at least, that reflected a really high sense of attachment to the place. It's really valued, therefore don't change anything. But at the same time, there's some things that can be changed, some things that are wanted. Um, in terms of Victoria Square, um, support was expressed for more activation, more greenery and infrastructure. Grove Street and the minor streets, so heading north of Grove Street and south of Goody Street, are certainly seen as opportunities for increasing activation, activity during the day and in the evening. And the former bus station site, which I think the Conservation Council have an interest in, uh, was suggested as a potential spot to try the temporary market. The arcade on this side of the, the main central markets was seen as a once in a lifetime opportunity. So it's, it's up there for the area as a whole and is seen as critical to get right, as is involving all the stakeholders in the area along with the traders. There was a range of other general comments which I just stuck under the various heading. Um, residential growth in the area is seen as important and is seen as supporting business. Public art is important and lighting is part of that. Uh, improved accessibility is seen as important in the area. So it makes it easy for people to get to the markets. And that's through a mix of car, bus, tram, foot and by bike. Servicing which is a general term for loading, unloading, rubbish, all that kind of thing, adds to the area's character that could be improved. Not much more detail than that. So for me, I guess the results confirm that this market this is a bit of an area that's really highly valued. And it's really important to consider how change does go ahead. There is a sense of openness to change. And I like to call this, I just like this way, it's nuanced change, so really careful change in the area is, is, is uh, a sense of that's uh, the way ahead. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I'd like to say.